webcam, man. It's new. It's new. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Let's Talk Tennis Podcast. Oh, maybe that helps. That might help a little bit. Thank you. Welcome back to the Let's Talk Tennis Podcast today. One of our most unhinged episodes. We are joined by the one and only Nick Rick Games. And this episode, he talks about his YouTube channel. We talk about school. We talk about his whole YouTube series. We talk about a lot of things and a lot of things that, you know, he brought up. And it gets low-key a little... I'm still trying to figure out the lighting. This might be better. Low-key, I don't... I'm still trying to figure out this whole webcam. Uh, so, if you are new, I do a little bit of house cleaning here, or housekeeping here. If you are new, consider subscribing, consider following, whatever you're watching or listening on. It's free. And you are current, and you will help support me make these podcasts. Uh, and another little housekeeping thing: uh, if you are on YouTube, consider subscribing. And if you're not on YouTube, move over to YouTube and consider subscribing. I'm trying to get myself to a thousand subscribers, and I'm about uh, 113 away, give or take, depending on when this comes out. Uh, yeah, just consider subscribing it's free it you'll get more podcast episodes and on youtube sorry spotify but you sorry spotify apple music or iheart radio you get more content from me that is including you normal shorts you get uh youtube videos you get i said shorts you get the video podcast you get a little bit of everything from me check it out it's free why not it is all linked in the description as well as dom's socials is also linked in the description now i'm also going to do another little thing these podcast episodes do take a little bit longer to make uh considering with timing with guests and so and odd whatever so i'm going to be moving these podcasts from every week to every other week starting uh next week next other week this is all because it just it I don't currently have the time for all of this. It does take up a good chunk of my personal time to find guests, to ask, think of questions, get them prepared. It also takes time out of their day, and I on I can't get guests every week. As well as the the that's the Tendy Talks episodes, they even still take up a lot of time, and they're not that easy to record sometimes. But We'll see where this goes. So every other week, there should be a podcast episode. Uh, but stick, check out my socials also in the description in that little card thing. In the the little card thing, they uh, all the the links are in there. Uh, other than that, that's about it, man. Nickerick Games, our most unhinged episode that we the last talk tendies I think has had maybe had I, for sure after the rebrand, maybe before the rebrand. Maybe the second most unhinged episode, but subscribe, follow. It's free. There's nothing wrong with doing so. Let me know in the comments what you think. And you know what? Ask me anything because the next episode will be uh, Ask Me Anything where you guys can ask me any sort of questions and in the I'll answer them on the podcast with the best of my ability. So thank you guys so much for watching. Follow, subscribe, and now on to the episode. Hi, welcome back to the Let's Talk Case podcast. We've just recorded two, three minutes of absolutely nothing. A uh, whole laughing of dominitis and many different things going on in our lives. I hope the yep. audio on my end is really quiet because I moved up to look at this. But if I move my mic around here, now all of a sudden it gets really loud. And for all of you wondering why I'm holding my camera really close to my face, it's because I got a new camera. Little plug there. Go check out my tech review of it. Anyways, so... I actually watched it. It's good. Maker Games approved. Yeah, there you go. So, welcome to the Dead Stock Today's podcast. It really been a while. Nickrick Games, a little clap for everyone. I clap for everyone on the podcast. Clap. Yep. Dom's so egocentric. He claps for himself. Uh, so, <laughs> Dom, introduce yourself again. This time, don't just say hi. <laughs> Hello there. I'm going to punch a wall. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Nickrick Games. Um, I have a gaming related channel where I just I have an animated show where characters go do stupid things. It's a shit post channel mainly, and I also live stream and all that other stuff on a lot of other platforms. So that's basically I'm mainly just a gaming channel that does stupid things. So. <laughs> 
Yeah. All right. <clears throat> First question. What's your favorite type of beverage? Uh, water. Water? <clears throat> yeah. The lucky Sonic Cup. Are you more of a warm or cold water type of guy? That's not even a question. Cold. Oh, I was expecting you to go warm. See, me on the other no, hand, no, no. I'm a lukewarm type of beverage. I'm kidding. I would. I'm specifically into hose water. No. <laughs> I'm specifically into the water in the puddle that was been sitting there for three days after a That's rainstorm. Been sitting in my backyard collecting mud and worms. Mm, I, it makes me flavoring. feel one with the earth. Seasoning. <laughs> the, earth, <laughs> the worms give seasoning. Let's go. I like the slimy aftertaste. <laughs> Oh, don't get us started on worms and our experience. <laughs> uh, we can get into that after. So the real first question is, ignoring our ex- extentful conversations we've had on this topic, how did your YouTube channel... <laughs> so the joke is that Dominitis over here... Every five I'm minutes, dead. every five minutes, he just contracts a disease called dominitis. What happens? Literally, nobody knows, except he just face plants. But that lasts for about 30, 30 hours. So we'll see how he goes from there. So, how did your channel start? The question I'm trying to get um, at that. Oh, like the one I currently do. Your your main channel. Okay. Um, that Friday one originated seven. when um I it was originally a vlog channel years ago back in 2017 when i first made the account uh and it was the dominator where i did vlogs not frequently with my friends uh doing yet again stupid stuff that's always been my niche i've always liked doing comedy um because i i'm not entertained uh, either (laughs) other way otherwise so um eventually i ended up just realizing that i want to be more consistent with it and it was around 2020 like when we were all stuck outside so mine as well um that's when i ended up uh making uh nick rick games and that's when me and my brother oh stepbrother started doing gameplay videos uh we wanted to be more like the game grumps that's what we took inspiration from and also we just I just wanted to do gameplay videos because I thought it'd be fun. And then he ended up not wanting to do the channel anymore. Hence like why there's no more Fortnite bit. content. The content Because uh, he, he liked Fortnite. I did not, but I still don't. But anyways, that's, that's it, why there was like one Fortnite video on my channel. Don't worry. I'll um, force you to play it. For a video, I'm going to get you to play um, it. Yeah, maybe for charity. But um, my charity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, but, uh, then, uh, Nicker Games was formed and I ended up taking the channel. I took the name. Uh, I didn't just change it to Nick Gaming. I just kept Nick Rick Games because I'm like, I'll just be him and people just call me Nick or Rick or whatever the fuck. So that's what we ended up choosing to do. And I ended up having uh, my friends on the channel. And since we were all inside, it was perfect to just do recordings all the time. And it was just, it was just a gameplay channel. Then I started doing live streaming on Twitch and that's when like shorts came out years later and that's when i started doing skits and well, shorts they ruined just, the internet i'm telling you that right now i will say yeah shorts did ruin mm, it shorts, however I, I will say i'm i'm so thankful for shorts because um that's what like made my love for stop motion animation like it rekindled it because i was always a passion of mine when i was a little kid because i i always made them on my old 3ds <laughs> Um, like on the little stop motion mode they had. So I, I, I loved those. Um, I'm never going to let those animations see the light of the day, though. But oh, um, come on, post one just for um, me. Come on, Pookie. Um, either way, I had a lot of fun making those videos. And then I started making shorts and those started doing really good. So I ended up just I, I went with it. And then also I like after I made like 200 shorts, I started doing like the actual NRG that's when I started giving it the name. I started learning how to do Gmod. And like I just I wanted to be unique. I didn't want to be just a copycat of SMG4 or um, other stop Sonic Stop Motion YouTubers or a plush like other plush YouTubers. I wanted to do all three. And that's kind of where my unique brand comes in, where it's all canon. Like I have a playlist of what's canon, what's not, and they're all like it's just whatever I'm in the mood to do that day. 
it's cause, so I can keep it consistent and the viewership stays consistent because I keep it consistent for plush or Gmod or stop motion shorts on the short part of my channel. That's how the views come in for my actual episodes. So I think it all worked out. I'm, I love my show to death. It's probably, it's, it's my favorite thing I've ever created. So, um, and I don't plan on stopping. I have so many more ideas I would like to make because it feels good storytelling. I like doing the storytelling because it could be whatever I want. I can make someone go to space and their head explodes. Like, that's something that could actually happen. I can't do that in real life because then I go to jail. And now in the next episode of NRG, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my prison cell. Uh, um, no. But- so that was going to be my next question, actually, was what led you to make NRG? Hmm. Um, th- that's actually a different answer. Uh, <laughs> it was more so um, I am very passionate about the characters I love, if you did not know. <laughs> but um, I have a huge passion for the characters I grew up with and the characters that have had a huge impact on my life. Kind of like how people like have huge like nostalgia with like um, shows that they watch as a kid or stuff like that. For me, it's more so um, these characters did a lot for my life because growing up, being bullied, being an outcast because you were into those things. Back then, it wasn't cool. It was you got bullied and beat up on the schoolyard for liking that. And I did for I had to switch schools twice because of it. Um, no, you told you know, me you sneezed on the teacher and that's why you got expelled. No, 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 no. I've been suspended. That, those are different. Uh, okay, spell. sorry, my bad. No, no, no. I've never been expelled, thankfully. Um. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, I loved watching SMG4 with my good, my, with my good friend at the time. Um, and my favorite character was Axel and in 2021, he was killed off. So that really made me upset. And I still want him back to this day because he still gets referenced to, to this day. He was just referenced like in an episode, like, like a short that came out last week. So he's, they, they still keep him relevant and on the actual discord, he has his emotes. So I'm open, I'm open for something, but I was also starting to get impatient. So I decided to learn how to make a Gmod video. Like I wanted to, because I still did the shorts at the time. It didn't have an official name. It was just, I made shorts. That was just what I called it. But I ended up giving it the official name after I made my first episode, The Stairs. Afterwards, I was about to get into college and I realized that I wanted to take my channel in a different direction as well as like my life was going in a different direction. Like it's no longer going to be what it was because it's a whole new chapter in my life. So that's why I ended up calling it the first NRG episode ever, like with the actual NRG brackets on it, a new beginning. Because that's when I introduced Axel canonically to the show, and that's when the whole, like, that's when the NRG brand was born, and that's when I started making it an actual universe, where it's these characters interacting with each other, just going on wacky misadventures. It led me to do it because... I was passionate and I wanted to, I always wanted to make something on YouTube. I didn't want to just do gameplays for the rest of my life or just like very easy to do game, like like game content that a lot of people do because it's like some of the simplest, but most complex content to create. I wanted to do something different. I wanted to leave my impact because I wanted to be unique because I, it was something that I always wanted to do since I was just a little kid. So that's what led me to make energy and it yeah, led me here. Today. So I think I did pretty good. Yeah. Uh, going into the night, you touched on this a little bit. Uh, and shorts. Like with- that? <laughs> <laughs> you gently reference this in your. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> You gently oh, reference this in your in your opening little bit about your channel. Um, shorts being a big part. When did you think your channel originally took off? Like, what what was the original? It's growing moment. Sonic and versus don't, Mario. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, and don't say when you met your girlfriend, but you know. Nope. Sonic versus Mario. 
That video was my first video that ever hit 10,000 views in less than a night. Damn. And um, that's when I knew that the channel was no longer just a gaming channel. Because originally this shorts were going to be a limited time thing. I was only going to do it until I got what I wanted to do out. Which I was planning originally quitting because I wrote down a lot of videos. Uh, it The video was uh, Sonic Meets Sonic 2. I did a sequel to that one because I wanted to, that one got like 5,000 in the night. So I was going to do a sequel to that one and that's when I was going to stop. Um, but when I saw how much engagement I got with my community and how much people really enjoy just the shorter form of content or just like they liked how I told my funny stories. Cause normally like when I do like, like anything on the internet, I always like have people like give me comments and like sometimes like it's, a mixed bag. Some are good. Some are great. But with the shorts, it's can. It was just consistently, everyone was saying, "Hey, I like this guy too." Oh, he has the same thing I have. I have those figures. Or like, it, I was able to relate to people who have the same passions as me, and that's when I knew that that's where the, the direction I want to take my channel in. And that's when I knew that my channel was starting. Like, oh fuck, I'm gonna start growing. And that's how I hit a thousand. And that's how I started. That's how I got monetized. And 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 and. And all of a sudden, now you're a big shot who, you know, wears sunglasses inside when you're inside of a building, like leather jackets and like big expensive Rolexes and Sonic cups. No, no, no. Rolex. Anyways, um, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, you're clearly flexing your super expensive, totally not, definitely found in a Walmart, dollar, Sonic cup, collector's item, yeah. one, one of one. Yeah. Tag's not still on it. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I kept the tag on. <laughs> Where's it from? I'll take that off after this. Uh, GameStop. Okay, so it's definitely overpriced. I have Edge. I have the Edge card. Oh, so you definitely saved yourself a whole dollar and a half, ha dollar fifty. Three dollars. Oh, okay. Now he's big shot. Okay, he pays for premium Edge. Okay, premium. It's only ten, it's only 10 bucks, like for monthly. Year. Oh, that's not enough for me to actually go to GameStop and buy games or anything. Well, yeah, I go <laughs> weekly, though. So oh, yeah, I know. You difference. you have too much time on your hands, weirdly, with all your jobs and all your YouTube. You have extra time on your I don't know how you, like, just form time. I talk down to my <laughs> bosses sometimes, <laughs> and they... That, like, and then when they sh see that I don't give a flying fuck, sometimes they... I'm like, okay, you could just go. <laughs> so you get fired, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm thinking. I like, but it do it, it doesn't happen because like I'm Why way too chill with my with my boss. My boss is. That's fair. That's this, fair. Any of them? Like, I I sent them a meme the other day, and like, and I've never had like a proper conversation with them that wasn't that had nothing to do with work. I just sent them a meme of um. A guy getting hit in the nuts. I was like, "Would this hurt?" And uh, she was like, "What?" <laughs> and, I went, and she was like, "I'll see you in two hours." I'm like, "Okay," because so I just started, um, and then I went in and like we just talked like it never happened. <laughs> you are stupid, is what you are. <laughs> yeah. That also on my break, I usually run over to Toys R Us or something. That's fair. You do go like every. He yeah. does work right beside. His I, I make I I make time. I make time to do the things I like to do. And guys, yes, we're in Canada. We still have Toys R Us. <gasps> How <sighs> scary! You know the amount of people who are like Toys R Us. What? And there's like one in the states, and it's in New York. Do you know that? What you want to go to New York? No, I heard it smells like piss. I know it does. I don't want to go. Speaking of, <laughs> that was my lunch. Mm -mm -mm. The piss, not not the bird. <laughs> the piss is my lunch. That's wild. Um, what do you think is in here? <laughs> probably gonna name this like our most unhinged episode. <laughs> that, that's that's always how it is with me. Um, I gotta ask. I know we. I brought this up to you a while ago. You started out with gameplays. You've moved away from gameplays. Is there a chance that gameplays are coming back? Not on the main channel, but on your Nickrick 
vlog. Actually, th there's a good chance that um, well, gameplays still happen on the main channel. There's next to never. However, I do. I will say, like the my characters play video games pretty frequently. I have currently two episodes where Sonic one plays so Sonic plays Minecraft, and the other one Mario plays Roblox, uh, a Roblox zombie. And both of them were really well received. People really liked them, and they liked the editing. And um, I liked it too. The two of my proudest videos I think I've ever made. But um, actual gameplays where like we do like recording sessions again, I do plan on doing that again. And I'm just gonna like make it more. I'm gonna make it more edited to how that my videos are nowadays. Because I would like I, I would make it like some games that won't fit on the main channel. I'd put on the VOD channel. Right. But the ones that can work on there, I'm going to put on the main channel. That's kind of like how it would be. Like Roblox videos, I put on the VOD channel. Unless it's like a Sonic game that we do. Then that would be Sonic or Mario or something. that Or SMG4, anything that I usually cover on there, then that's going to be on there. But anything else would be there. So I just think uh, that would be like the smarter way to go about it because I have an audience that is used to certain things on certain channels because they're so different now. It's no longer like my Twitch and YouTube are the exact same. It's now my Twitch is Roblox stuff, like, like Roblox or like now Minecraft because I started streaming Minecraft more um, and just like other like horror games and stuff like that. That's what Twitch is. Soon to be Fortnite. Um, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and uh, Nicker Games on YouTube is every other game I like, and it's just like a big clump of hey this is a universe where nothing goes right so <laughs> you want to like... see like like i literally have an episode where goofy's a tax collector and he goes to break sonic's kneecaps canonically happened cannot sonic cannot go fast anymore canonically <laughs> <laughs> maurice i can't move it move it anymore <laughs> That's the sound effect I wanted to use for my new episode. I couldn't remember it for the life of me. Right, you goofy goober. Uh, so you did also mention your channel started out with vlogs. Would you be open to not daily vlogging, considering that you the only time you leave your house is to go to Walmart um, or work? <laughs> you can't tell me I'm wrong. You can't tell me I'm wrong. Would you be I'm laughing because I did that earlier today. <laughs> Would you... It's a simple thing to like people. Just find something that makes you happy and do it. Yeah, like Walmart. That's the thing that makes me most happy. Walmart! <laughs> well, is there a chance you could do, like, vlog? So you go to, like, Comic Con with our yeah. friends. Was there a chance you could vlog that? Go around with the camera? If you asked me, if you asked me a year ago, I would say no. Nowadays, the amount, like, I've been starting to listen to my fans a lot more in terms of video ideas, things they want, want to see, things they want me to do. I uh, tend to listen to it more often because I know it's going to do well because I have people who are actually going to watch it now. Back then, I wouldn't have because a year ago, it was, it could have, it could have not. But now it's guaranteed that people are actually going to watch it. So, yeah. Yeah, I would. Uh, well. I would vlog Comic-Con. I would also, people also want me to start vlogging my trips to like, like when I do toy hunts because they want to see. Do, those do what, well. Yeah. So. I know my brother's been wanting to maybe, do stuff like that. Yeah, so maybe if uh, you want to meet up and do a little mall trip, we could film it. Well, I'm not even gonna lie; I've been to the mall too much. It isn't. It's like I go in there and it's like I'm hitting what my mall. Are you talking about? Because like I do, like when like I go, like I'm gonna take you places because it's we. I do both WalMarts, both GameStops. Yeah, I know. But when I go to that mall, I hit my three stores that I like, and I'm like, all right, I'm done. Oh, the rest of it's like the rest of it's like clothing, and it's like I don't. I'll, I'll show want. you. I'll show you a different mall then. Let's go. I know. I know a mall that you don't go to frequently. Let's go. That one still has Mind Games because Mind Games recently closed in our mall. No, it's there. No, it like it's not upstairs anymore. No, it moved down to across from. I everywhere. No, it, Sav and I really? went there with Cold recently. They moved really? down. Do you know where that Calendar Club used to be? Around no. the holiday, like I'm gonna okay. You're gonna show. You're gonna show me next time we go down the street from uh, Victoria's Secret. 
Like down oh, by, okay. by yeah. I still don't know our damn secret. That's what pisses me <laughs> off. Every time I go in there, everyone's inside like they know what's going on. I don't. I'm in there. I'm like, what the fuck do you guys know that I don't? Did I tell you this story about a Victoria's Secret trip? I should probably. Uh, my girlfriend needed some clothes, so I, I we go in and she's like, all right, just don't do anything. And I'm like, okay, I'm standing there. I'm kind of like looking at my phone, just trying not to make eye contact with anyone in the store because I'm horrified. She's like, cool. Yeah. Grabbed whatever she needed. Those boobs, right? scary uh so <laughs> she goes and she grabs it goes to the cashier and there's this little gift card but it's of a peach and it's like okay that makes sense for like a a, a women's clothing underwear store yeah on, peaches are delicious on of it on, on of it it says scratch oh, no, and sniff my first question i look at it i look at the worker i look at sav i look at the worker i look at it i look back at the worker i go i have a question <laughs> sav, yeah, sav goes, i would i'd have several sav, sav goes uh-oh and i go this uh gift card scratch and sniff does it smell like peach or does it smell like ass and the worker just starts laughing <laughs> Just it's a good question. It's like, like, that's the emoji that's used for a butt. Sav just turns and like smacks me in the arm. I go, what? It's a genuine question. She goes, no, we had the exact same question when they first came in. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think I could ever come back to the store again. And I was scared. I cried. Yeah. Anyways, um, you have a good chunk of devoted fans. Who are easily yeah. willing to spe- make your pay your entire tuition if you just said, "Okay, yeah." Is there a chance that you reach out with a company and you make a merch line? Uh, that's uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to start doing something when I hit ten thousand, but that what I'm thinking of doing is selling Roblox merch first. Cause I'm going to be like, um, I'm going to be partnering up with like, I found someone who makes good Roblox stuff and Alex. can actually model and all that. So I'm going to like have them make like a shoulder pet just like, and like, I'll help make design the shirts and all that. Like, that's what I'm going to sell first. When I get closer to like, um, like a fan base that is like a little bigger than what I got now. Then I can say um, that's when I'm going to like release my first few things. I would definitely do makeshift to get my first plush out, but then I would get one permanently on my store because I just would want to see if I could ever get to that. If you need help with any of that, the one who worked yeah, advertising, I know, yeah, I know, baby. I know, I know. You made my banner. You I did. Banner. I've I used. It. I used yeah. it in an assignment. True story. I need to make a portfolio, yeah. and I was like. They're like, oh, show your professional artwork because I'm going into a graphic design job. It was a fake job. And I go, I'm like, I'm not going to tell Dom, but I am going to use his work and say that. My work? Do you use my work for. No, it was my work. No, it was, my work was for his like, channel. Your, it was your work that I paid you for. The yeah. only way that I. Like, the only reason why it's mine is because I paid you 10 bucks. Yeah, t- damn right. <laughs> I should have paid yeah, you ten dollars. I should have charged you ten dollars as a subscriber. I would have been rich. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was been. only at like two thousand. I would have been rich. That's at least two hundred thousand dollars right there. <laughs> I could have bought an uh, entire new setup. <laughs> Chicken Teddy two come soon. <laughs> oh wait, no, that's already a channel. that's already a channel. That's already, no, um, no. So I did use it. And I, I put it in, like, <laughs> oh, who's your clients? And I'm like, Georgian College Esports, Nicker Games YouTube channel. <laughs> no. So it's like, okay, so that's relatively recent and a YouTube channel. No offense. but That makes good channel. money. That makes good money. But it was funny. Anyways, the funny, funny, funny. You. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Horror, 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 horror. You silly, silly, silly! Look at that goof in the back. Purple guy, look at him. Look, Jesus Christ! He's... I got it. Has he moved since? Stop! <laughs> I thought I, w- I would laugh if like a breeze pushed him closer. <laughs> <laughs> I would get up from this and be like, "This has been great. I'm gonna go move houses real quick." <laughs> I'm gonna go purchase an entire new home just because. 
Where the fuck did my plush go? Oh, whatever. It's I'll get dead. It, it disappeared. It died in it, the war. D- in, yeah. In World War, war Purple. World War Purple. <laughs> Bro, I have a question. Uh, what's your favorite war of all time? I know mine. Uh, Garden Warfare 2. Mm-hmm. Mine's the Emu War. Where the Australians, I think it was, lost to just a shit ton of emus. <laughs> <laughs> True story. I, need, like, I needed to be very careful with what I said there because I was like, um, I don't want to, like, no matter what answer I give, it's wrong. So I had to think of a video. Are you sure? Quick. The emu war <laughs> is my favorite war. Uh, so you've worked, of course, with me in your channel. Of course, that's the best of the best. Um, is there any other, like, dream collabs other than myself that you would want to work with collabs collabs someone hits you um, up and goes i want to work with you who is it i would say smd4 but i don't think i would like to work with them i think i would just like to do like i would like to meet them and i'd like to do like a talk thing like we're like we like do like a video where we just chat and answer questions about each other like i would like to do that one day that'd be amazing because i have nothing but respect for the guy because He's he's he single handedly made his own brand, and I and not only that, but also he has a very successful animation company. Um, and like I, and as someone who loves animation, I really respect that. So, um, when it comes to collabs, like for like videos, um, may I mainly enjoy my friends. I don't really think that I'd like I'd have anyone on, like any YouTuber on or anything like that, if they message me and ask and i'd be like yeah we can make something like we 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 can make something work because (laughs) i always see it a good thing to meet other creators i i don't see it as a negative thing i don't see it as a burden i'm like at the worst case scenario i have a new friend and that's like for me like that's that's all that's the best part of this this job is that you get to meet so many people but so many people are so different but also so similar to you Cause we all have the same passion of content creation. And since like, I respect anyone who does it, whether like they're a big channel or a small channel, just as long as like they love what they do, that's what I can respect. And of course so. I'm your favorite. We all know it. Yeah. However, like um, favorite person I've worked with recently. Um, it like now that like, if I had to choose a person that I would say that like, I've, like that's helped me out with like videos, animation, and ban- like in like thumbnails and stuff. I'd, I'd have to go with uh, Dark Chrome because now that I, <laughs> now that I met her, I don't see myself wanting to work with anybody else because she has been a delight to work with through and through. And this will be the end yeah. of the podcast, I guess. We'll <laughs> listening. I'm done. Because <laughs> <laughs> um. Like we like have like like we have a lot of fun when we uh, when we just hop on a call and we're just laughing the whole time, animating stupid things and like half the scenes we make we don't even put in the final video. We just mess around, have fun, and laugh, and then we like we also get what we want done done. And we both have very similar passions for characters that we love so much. So. I would definitely say, like, also, she's way better at animating than me, and she's way better at thumbnails than me. So, having her on board and having her help me with a few videos uh, has been a delight. That and also every voice actor I've ever ever had on the channel that's yeah, ever voiced for I'm an awesome. episode. Me. They have all been nothing but joy to work with because they give their A game. That is one thing I'll give them. Even if they just like have a phone that sounds terrible for my quality, I can hear it. That, that they're it giving funny, it though. their all because they're enjoying it. That makes it funny though, low key. Yeah. If it's if it's like really good quality and there's that one person that just like is really like sounds like shit, it's funny. That's why I keep <laughs> it. That's funny. why that's that's why that's why I keep them in. But of course uh, I'm there your was favorite. a sonic. You know that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah don't need to tell anyone, right? No, no. On the rec off the record. <laughs> um you used to have you were kind of in the same boat as me, is you used to have a podcast before I completely rebranded mine. You, I did. you oh did. yeah i did you did you had a podcast it was not yeah. gonna lie uh, really shit <laughs> and you, oh yeah i didn't know how to do it you didn't know how to do it so you live streamed it on twitch yeah. which was in the same realm first as, two episodes did great 
Every other, the other two I did didn't do the great. I think we real. I think you quickly realized that live streaming a podcast. I think both of us realized it's not a good idea. No. Is there any chance you follow? You know me and my perfection. Follow the trend and rebrand it. Bring it back as a proper podcast, and go from there. Currently, no. I can't like I love positive energy because it was like one of my first big things I made, and it, it meant a lot to me. Um, but I don't see myself doing it unless that's what the fans want. If like my viewers, if I ever get like big and people want me to have a podcast where I answer questions or or I take um, online video suggestions and I can show them what it's like step by step to how to make an NRG episode. Then yeah, I'd probably do something like that. It just yet again, if I'm doing a podcast, I want it to be like no other podcast. I don't want it to be like every other one where it's like a discussion thing. It's I want it to be different. I'm not taking and a until I can, until I, and until I can think of that different thing, I don't plan on doing it. Plus, um, if that's what if the viewers, I don't think they would want a podcast for me right now because I already do a lot of content and I'm still trying to fit in kick right now. So I have other priorities that I would rather do first. And then maybe in a few years, once I get settled and situated, then yeah, I- I'm always open to new things, but I that doesn't mean everyone's going to stick. I got to ask too, because I know you, yeah. you've been talking about it. Are you starting an only fans? Are you following the footsteps of John Cena and starting an only fans? Uh, Selling the bath water. I would. I, okay, look, I would really want to, not for what you think. I don't care if it does well. I don't care if it doesn't do well. Like, like at all. Like, I, what I care about is that I am a little too confident in myself. (laughs) And I just, like, I want to, like, release super high quality images of that. But I also know that kids watch me. So I really shouldn't. So I'm probably going to say no. I think you do like what Markiplier did and kind of like just block out the area. I do it. Okay. One thing I will say. You just hide. I'm doing a new, nude really calendar. Fun. That I'm going to do. That I'm going to do. Million percent before I. <laughs> like, I'm doing what? what? New, new, new calendar. Definitely going to do. Also, um, do I am going to be doing making a body pillow on the shop. But I'm not going to be naked. It's just going to be. One, I'm going to have the shirt. The only one I'm not. If you flip it on the other side. I think it'd be funny. You just yeah. do like the. I'd love to do that. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like the stupidest pose. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you get, I think you get a body pillow, but you put arms on the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like if they're like that, so like they can hug you at. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those slap on wristbands. <laughs> no, I'm there. You, I'm... Make, you make the slap on wristbands. <laughs> My God, we be running this down, dude. Uh, I talk about all this podcast way too much, but it only fits in because I'm currently living the life of the student. What is your current? Well, we high school. I think we had similar experiences because we were both idiots. We spent a lot of time together. Except you failed a lot more and you hurt yourself by being stupid. I didn't fail any of my classes in high school. You're right. And I got an honor roll. You're you're right. So did I. But you also jumped off a bunch of things when you were younger. Okay, that, yeah. I was stupid for that. (laughs) You almost got kicked out of school for... Do you want to tell the story? You want to tell the story about you jumping off the forum stairs? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The four... Okay. All right. Shut up. (laughs) So, um... (laughs) the forum stairs okay this one was uh, more so because i've always wanted to since day one i had my uh elementary graduation there and i saw in my high school that there was this huge forum and there was a huge staircase and i'm like oh i could totally jump that and my friends were like no you couldn't i'm like i could and like it was like a whole argument for like three years and one day like i was in grade 12 i'm like this is like the last we we're like in we were in the second semester to so we were like having the like our last chance. <laughs> Say the line. Say the line. Uh, okay. Alex, shut up. <laughs> All right. Um. So I had my last chance to do it. Uh, it was get, I was getting pretty close. So I was like, ah, screw it. So I was heading from one of my classes to my to lunch actually, and I just jumped. 
and um, because there, no one was there, I thought I would go away for, away with it scot free. But stupid me didn't check the cosmetology classroom, and she, the teacher was right out there. It looked at me like I just died. I'm like, I'm fine. See, no broken bones. I feel great. And uh, she was like, get to the office. And I was there till lunch. And I almost got kicked out of I almost got kicked out of school. They almost they almost expelled me for that. I know. I remember Emma was like, "This is stupid." He's like, "He." The rest of us was like, "He jumped off the stairs." Well, she <laughs> supports me. <laughs> yeah, we're like, he is stupid. <laughs> well, I don't think it deserved a suspension. I think it just sorry, no, an expel. I think it would have deserved a suspension. I think it shouldn't have mattered to begin with. Like, why'd you do it? I don't exactly. know. Okay, just don't do it again. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but no, they're like, well, they, I think they didn't forgive me for the bike incident. Mm. But I, I'm not saying that one. There's a lot of incidents. Okay. High school was... Hold up. Can we pause this? He needed... Um, he, he was just letting me know he was home. And also he required um, where uh, sustenance was because he didn't know where I put the groceries. <laughs> I put it in the fridge where they're supposed to go. <laughs> Like, I, but he's the one who leaves it in the cupboard, hence why we have warm ass cheese. Oh no, that's disgusting. That's I disgusting. know, yeah. I know. He's like, but it's easier to cut. I'm like, who cares? We have bigger, sharper knives. Anyways, this is not me ranting. You know, let's just. It, it, it will be thrown in the podcast. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think of warm cheese? <laughs> I hate it. Bro just starts having a like free. I think it's good when rant. you like cook it and it's warm, but if you leave, uh, never mind. Buddy, I swear to God. Two hour I'm, rant. You're going to be bald. You're going to be bald, dog. Uh, so your college experience has been a whirlwind, right? Let's talk about that real quick. <laughs> run, me, run me through that again. <laughs> My college experience uh, this semester has been a lot better. I'll say. I will say the I will say this though. Nowadays, I like when I spend hundreds of dollars on things that are like for personal gain, I feel nothing. I just feel happy. Um when I spend money on college or like like also when I even pay bills, I feel fine. I feel good. I feel like, "Eh, I did it." Or like last year when I paid my taxes, like I'm I just got my T4 now, so I'm not doing tax evasion. No one, yeah, no one say that. But <laughs> anyways, um, normally when I like when I buy stuff with money, I don't feel guilty for using the money because I don't think money's like you never you shouldn't hold on to money unless it's savings. But money always goes to somebody else. That, that's that's my thought process when it comes to it because I'm not going to be enjoying my life if I just hold on to every penny. Right. I would rather, like, it just doesn't make sense to me, personally. However, I feel like I've been wasting every dime that I've given to this, to, to college. I feel like every dollar I give them is not worth my time or my money because they don't respect their students next to it all. And, like, and I'm not trying to say that i hate my professors because a lot of the ones i've had have been fantastic oh. and i've loved the opportunities that it has presented me but that does not mean that i still don't think that it's a little bit of a waste of money i'm still going to do it because it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it because i would rather do that now when i'm young instead of having to go back when i'm 32 that's way better and i, I would take that any day but there was just, there's always going to be that one professor. And I had that one professor in my first year and she ghosted me. I'm not kidding. I have like, I have all the files, screenshots, emails. I have all of it. She ghosted me when I was in the hospital and I couldn't do an assignment. And I kid you not, I have the doctor's note and everything. She full on ghosted me. <laughs> You totally so, could have appealed it. You know that, right? I did. I did. And guess what? The school did not even get back to me. When I went in to talk to them about it, the person there, uh, unfortunately, they didn't speak a lot of English. Right. Uh, but also the person was trying their best to 
make me feel better, but they're like, there's nothing we can do. I'm like, yes, there is. You know who, what professor did it. And the evidence is right there. You're just choosing not to do anything about it. Take it with court. Um, yeah. My, my dad's considering it because, it, like, it was... She literally chose that she was going to fail me all the way back in November. That's and tough. Because she wouldn't, like, open any new assignments to me. And I didn't have access to them. That's actually tough. You're lucky yeah. that you have more so, shit and than like, I do. She would and, be blasted. And, uh, and also, like, um, I now have to, like, find, like, another 950. Also, like, I'm missing, not, like, I, not only, like, because she, like, she messed me up with that course, I also now, um, behind in another course now, because I wasn't able to take the, or take one, because she failed me for it. So, I'm gonna see if there's a summer program to fix it, because I don't think the appeal is gonna be going through, because they have done next to nothing, and I, I know I'm, that means another $950 out my pocket. But I think I'm just going to have to take the L with this one because it's either that or I get kicked out of the school. No, and I've. It's well like, documented uh, my experiences with my teacher. Yeah. But, so at, the, at this point, I'm just going to just do it and get it over with and pray. Yeah. Either way, I will say, though, I make sure that I, I do like keep college as a priority. But because of how little respect it's shown me, I make sure I don't keep it a. Uh, like, that's all I think about because I would be miserable. I was miserable my first semester because that's all I was focusing on was college. That was, like, the most I've ever struggled in terms of finances and just life because it's a huge stepping stone. And when you aren't shown support, you really don't feel motivated to do it, I will say. No, I so get it's that. Good to have it's good to have professors that support you and understand what you go through, especially when you have health issues because – you can't control those. See, but my, my I, I I understand when people fake it, but if you have a doctor's note to prove it, I, I don't really know what the second. confusion yes. would be. I can do it after. Anyways, continue. Ta da <laughs> That's it. Uh, now my I again you have a lot more restraint than I do because when it comes to yeah. that, it's like I I will blast my teeth. I my one of my teachers yeah. I share my podcast with him, and he's like, "God, I hope I'm not on this. Uh, no, I hope I'm not on the bad list." And I'm like, "He's, uh, you he's know not what? If I ever me. have like a problem with the teacher again, I might call you up to deal with them then for me. I'll give you the information and all that. Like, I'm because like, um, like when I was very young, I was always taught to respect my elders, even if they were a douche, because um." I was in martial arts for like they enrolled me in martial arts for a long time. I've been in it now for sixteen years. It's it's been crazy. It's gonna be seventeen this summer. So that's like huge portion of my life. Um and just to all of a sudden like I like I, I can't like like I've always been taught to show respect to people who have more wisdom than me. And right. even though I don't like all of the ones I've met. I still have to respect them because there's very little respect in today's world. I don't want to be one of the people who don't show it. So that's, fair. that's why I try to do my best. Unless you're my age, then free game. I can, I can get trippy. I can make fun of you. No, no, <laughs> no, but uh, it, it's more so that like, it's just, I need, I hold my tongue because if I don't like, I could stand up for myself physically and verbally if it's in person but if it's like online then i don't see the point like what's like i'm just typing words that on deaf ears that's fair because they, they aren't gonna care because they're like oh what are they gonna do jump through my screen if it was in person then yeah i know i would have gotten the mark and they would have like dealt with it because i would have been up in their face but there's not really much i could have done with that either way okay. i think it happened for i my mother always told me everything happens for you not to you so i try to live by that because it makes taking the bad 10 times easier also it makes you think about it less yeah that's fair all right i think we should wrap it up here because apparently i got things to do that i didn't know about until right now all right that's all the questions that's all the questions so my friend thank you for coming on if you were if we were in person i would shake your hand but I do. <laughs> we had the same idea. Um, anything you want to shout out? Um, Any, anything and everything. No. Is your Florida shout out if you want. 
No, I'm oh. fine in terms of like you guys. I told you my channel name. If you want to check it out, check it out. If you don't, I could not care less. It'll also either be way. In the description. I just hope you guys enjoy the podcast and be sure to subscribe to Chicken Tenny Gaming. No, oh. I didn't tell him to say that. That's that. Yeah, he didn't. That's what you guys are watching. So be sure to check it out. Check out his new um, reviews. They're really good, high quality, and edited. So be sure to check all that out. And if you like me and you like my demeanor and you like my stupidity, then you'll really hate my YouTube channel because it's that twenty four seven. Throws in like your face, just, like making one of. Disgust. Oh uh, well, yeah, sounds about right. Your thing is bad. All right, thank you for watching. I guess we'll go on to the outro know, like, right now. You still use stroke? Probably. Hello. Hello. Are Are you dead? Anyways, thank you. We'll go to the outro. Peace. My, oh my. No weather. No, I don't remember the SpongeBob song. What an episode! This it's cut a little shorter than I thought it was going to be. I had some other things I needed to do outside of this. He had some other things he needed to do. A lot of things needed were going on. Um, but it was great. Dom, thank you so much for coming on here again. Couldn't shake your hand. I do like to shake everyone's hand, but I, you know, I can't. Uh, check out my normal YouTube channel, Chicken Henny Gaming. Uh, check out the podcast and every other podcast service. By every other, I mean Spotify, Am Amazon Music, and iHeartRadio. Just look up Less Talk Denny's podcast. You'll see the logo. You'll see it's by me. Click on it. Throw a follow. Rate it five stars because it's free. Uh, and if you want to follow me on our so on my socials, look up uh, Chicken Tenny Gaming on everything except Twitter, which is at Tendy Seventy One. Follow me. It's free. Do so. Help me grow on those platforms as well. Uh, and help me hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Don, for coming on. And I will see you guys in the next podcast episode. Peace.